Hello guys, in this video, I will guide you on how to fix controller pairing problem on your MetaQuest 3S or your MetaQuest 3. So if for some reasons, your MetaQuest 3 or your MetaQuest 3S controllers are not working and you've tried everything possible to make them pair with your MetaQuest 3 or 3S headset, but they are still not working, I'm going to give you some couple of quick solutions that will most likely fix this problem for you. Now, the first and easiest thing you want to try out to fix any pairing problem on your MetaQuest 3 or 3S controllers is to simply open up the battery pack over here. So press on the button at the top over here to open up the battery pack and then you want to proceed to remove the batteries from your MetaQuest 3 or 3S controllers. Now, one thing you're going to keep in mind is the fact that if you have changed the batteries of your MetaQuest 3 or 3S controllers, usually these batteries run down really fast. So sometimes, even though it still shows that you have some battery juice you can still use from the Meta Horizons app, it might just be that your batteries are bad. So what you want to do is to try and get new batteries for your MetaQuest 3 or 3S. I actually had this particular problem myself and what I did was to get a better battery as good as the one that comes with your MetaQuest 3S or MetaQuest 3. Because sometimes the one that you might get from a retail shop may not be as good and it might just run down really fast, making it unable for you to use your MetaQuest 3 or 3S headsets because the batteries are not working properly. But if after changing the batteries of your MetaQuest 3 or 3S controllers, you're still unable to pair with the headset and it does not work with the headset. Another thing you can actually try is to see if the batteries are actually shaky when you insert them inside of your MetaQuest 3 or 3S controllers. So sometimes the size of the AA batteries you get might be a little bit thinner, making it to be shaky when you insert the batteries inside of your MetaQuest 3 or 3S controllers. And in that case, what you want to do is to simply get a paper and then just wrap it around the batteries. So you can simply get a paper as small as this one and then you just want to remove your batteries and then just proceed to wrap the papers around your batteries just like so just like so so that they can actually fit into the battery inputs we have in the MetaQuest 3S or MetaQuest 3 controllers. Once you're able to wrap it and it fits properly without shaking, you just want to go ahead and insert it and then Confirm that the battery is actually firm when you insert it inside of the controller and then you can now go ahead and close back your battery pack and try and see if it works with your MetaQuest 3S or your MetaQuest 3. But finally, if after trying this, you're still unable to pair your MetaQuest 3 or 3S controllers with the headset, another thing you can actually do that works 100% of the time is to simply just unpair your controllers from the headset and then pair them one more time. So what you want to do is to simply just go ahead and get the Meta Horizons app. So over here, I have the Meta Horizons app on my phone and I'll just go ahead and open it up. Now, once the app opens up, what you want to do is to simply just click on the three line icon, usually at the top left or the bottom right corner of the app. Now, once you open it up, you're going to see the devices tab. You want to go ahead and select that. Make sure that your MetaQuest 3 or 3S is actually turned on at this particular point. You want to select it. And then under where we have the headset settings, it is actually the second option over here. You're going to see the controller options over here. Go ahead and select it. And then here we have the battery percentage for our left controller and our right controllers so you want to make sure you confirm if you actually have any battery power left for the left controller and the right controller as you can see mine over here is at zero indicating that there is actually no power and that is why both controllers are not working but if you notice that you still have good battery life left for the left controller and the right controller you want to go ahead and unpair the controllers and then pair them one more time the way you do this is to simply just select any of the controller maybe the one that is not working, say the left controller, and then you just want to click on the unpair button over here. Click on unpair. And now the next thing you want to do is to get the controller, the specific controller. In this case, this is the left controller. And then you want to just open it up just like so. Make sure you remove the batteries. Okay, so I have just removed the batteries and gotten new batteries for my MetaQuest 3S controllers and I'll just go ahead and insert the new batteries now. You should also change the batteries of your MetaQuest 3 or 3S and then try this out as well. Now you want to go ahead and close the battery pack just like so. Come over to the headset settings one more time and then you just want to go ahead and click on controller then click on the pair a new controller over here. And now you'll be asked whether you want to pair a left controller or a right controller. In my case, it is the left controller, so I'll click on left. And at this point, you'll be asked to press on the 
menu button and the Y button simultaneously for some seconds. So I'll just go ahead and do that. The menu button and the Y button until it vibrates. Now once it vibrates, your MetaQuest 3S or your MetaQuest 3 Meta Horizons app should be able to find your controllers. Now you can see what you want to do now is to just click on the pair or continue button at the bottom over here click on done and just like so we've now been able to fix our left controller on our meta cost 3s that is having a pairing problem if you're having the same issue with your right controller or boot controllers you just want to do the same thing for the right controller as well go over to the headset settings unpair it from over here that is from the controller settings just go ahead and select it unpair it you can as well see that for the left controller i now have a hundred percent battery life so once you unpair your right controllers and then insert new batteries you should also be able to fix it and pair your controllers if this video was helpful please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to this youtube channel guys